Hi, in this video we're going to be showing you a tool you could use to lock files and folders and then also encrypt files and folders. So it's called Wise Folder Hider. So we're going to be showing you the free version. They do have a pro version with more features. So if you want to check that out, you can go to their website. So once you download and install it, uh, you'll have to make a master password to open the program. So let me show you how that works. All right, so then once you're logged in, you could start using it. So if you want to hide a file or folder, you could do that. So we'll just drag and drop something in there. So we're going to go to our C drive. We have this confidential files folder here with some files in it. Drag that in there. Now you can see it's hidden automatically. And if you click on open, it'll actually open the folder. And then you could unhide it. And then it'll open it again showing you that it's there. But once you unhide it, you're going to have to put it back. It takes it out of the list. So let's put it back in there again. And then you could also assign a password to it. Now this will not be a password to open the folder once it's unhidden, but it's just a password to actually unhide it from the program here. So that's what that means. All right, so now that we have it hidden, you can see it's gone here. Let's log in with a different user. So we've got this local admin account here we'll log in with. So one thing you'll notice if you have multiple users that it will install it for all users, but if they go to open it, they're going to need to know the password to get in there to even see what's been hidden. All right, so now let's go to the C drive with this user. Now you can see the confidential files folder is hidden from this user as well. All right, so let's go back to the other user here. Okay, so when you click on the down arrow, you could open it like you saw, unhide it, but then you'll have to put it back in once you unhide it and then set the password to be able to hide and unhide it from there. All right, so now let's try a file. So let's try this guy here on the desktop. So you can see once you drag it in there, it disappears. And then we could unhide it and it brings it back. Then it actually opens it in a, another file explorer window. Okay, so that is the hide file and folder option. We could also do it for USB drives. So let's go show you what we got here. So we have the SanDisk 32 drive here. It's got some files in it there. So we're going to hide USB drive. It'll show you your available drive letters. So there's just one USB drive on E there. So click OK. So suggested you add a password to protect the content. We're just going to skip that for now. Okay, so now E is hidden, the flash drive. But you'll see here, we refresh, it still shows the drive, the flash drive, but it shows nothing in it once you open it. So you can't actually hide the drive, it'll just hide the contents of it. And now we'll unhide. And now we have our files back. Okay, so now let's go to the lock file option before we get to encrypt file. So this will let you lock files or certain aspects of files. So if we add a file, you can't drag and drop. We'll add the same PDF here. And then you could have an optional password to unhide the file or change its properties and that's just within the program not the file itself it's not going to assign a password to open or edit the file it's just to manage it in here so we're going to skip that and you have to have one of these checked at least so we'll just prevent reading for example okay so it's locked if we try and open it we get an error it says it can't open it and if we unlock it It opens another file explorer window, but we'll just open it from here. And then you can see we could open it just fine. And then once again, if you want to remove it from the list, 
or set a password or change the properties, you could come here and do that. So we'll just remove it. When you click on delete, it doesn't delete the file. It just deletes it out of the uh, app here. All right, so finally, we have the encrypt file option. So the first thing you need to do when encrypting a file is to create a locker. Now for the free version, you could only do a 50 megabyte locker. So if you want to uh, have a bigger one, you'll have to buy the pro version. And you could change the name too if you want to use something different than this encrypt disk. For example, let's cl click on create. Okay, so now we have our encrypted drive here with the drive letter Z. Like so. And then we could, let's say we move a file into here. And now when we close the program, it tells you that your encrypted folder will be unmounted. So we'll say yes. Now we go back to this PC. You can see that Z drive is gone, so it's hiding and encrypting your files so nobody could access them unless you go into the program. And then you mount it. Okay, now we could go back to here to our Z drive again. Then it should show up under this PC. Just like that. Okay, so as you can see, it's pretty powerful and pretty easy to use. All right, but one thing I will say is to always be careful when using things like this because you're hiding files, so you don't want to hide a file, forget the password, or forget the password to your encrypted files, or if you uninstall the program without unhiding your files, that type of thing, so you don't want to get stuck losing some data. So just be careful when using things like this. And then one more thing here too. So here's the differences between the free and the pro, with the main difference being the encryption size for your drive there. But everything else looks good unless you have a problem with your passwords. If you have the pro, you could use the automatic retrieve password, automatic update, and you get tech support. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you could download Wise Folder Hider, and then you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.